Before I continue showing you more Kanea form signs for mathematics, I thought I would show you the different stylus shapes and their respective impressions. About 3100 BCE, when, during the Uruk area, era, some of the pictographs were a little rounder. As you can see, this stylus made this round impression. So it was a bit duller on the ends, and the pictographs that it created were bigger and simpler, but more representative of what vocabulary or what things that scribes were trying to um, make or trying to, to describe to other people. Uh, the stylus shapes then evolved into more of a triangle wedge, and that was probably due to efficiency, that it was faster and more um, efficient to use the reed stylus and the triangle shape, to, and that's the kind of uh, cuneiform sign that you would find in Akkadian in later scripts. Here's another interesting fact about the tablets. In the beginning, tablets were read vertically. As time went on, uh, due to efficiency or some change that happened around the second half of the third millennium, we noticed an awkward wedge direction in that that became a 45 degree angle when they started writing. At last, the modern interpretation of tablet reading has the wedge, wedges read horizontally from left to right. And it's interesting on this line here because they, some of the cuneiform symbols are particularly complex and large, such as this lugal, um, what looks like the lugal sign for king. They had to put all this on indented on the second line. I mean, in the same space, but within, but the second line down. So this 90 degree angle happened at the very end. Now I'm going to demonstrate how to write higher numbers in Babylonian, um, in the Babylonian numerical system. First we're going to start with the cuneiform script for 60. 60 is actually very easy to do. It's simply the number one um, with a longer stem. And then we can do the number 70 by simply adding the number 10 next to 60. So when they're next to each other, you, it means that you can just add them. So this is 60 plus 10 equals 70. Now I'm going to show you what the number 80 looks like. The number 80 is very similar, except now instead of just um, one 10 symbol, you have two 10 symbols in addition to the 60. So it's simply 60 plus 10 plus 10 equal, equals 80. And 90 is going to be the same. 90 would simply be the number 60, or the sign for 60, plus 3 of the wedges, the 10 wedges. And if we remember, the 3 wedges together equals 30. And you add them all up together, and you get 90. Once we get to 100, it's going to look a little bit different. Now, according to the text, there were two systems once you reached 100. Or, I'm sorry, once you reached 60. There could be a decimal system or a sexagesimal system, which is um, a system that's based on 60. 
the number 60. So um, decimal system was mostly used for everyday calculations and sexagesimal, the sexagesimal system was mostly used for astronomical calculations for the stars. So what I'm going to demonstrate to you is the number 100 for just the decimal system. And it just looks like a big giant circle. And then the tens would just be two little ones afterwards. So this number right here in the decimal system would simply mean 100 plus 10 plus 10 and we get 120.